To all of you out there that enjoy the visuals just like I do, this video is going to be very appealing to you. So with that being said, I am going to start off on the red faction, the KDF. Right now I'm going to make a new character. Guys, just a heads up, my awesome channel now accepts channel subscriptions. As always, it's never a must. You can always enjoy the channel's content for free, but you could help my channel out a lot by getting a paid subscription. Description, link and info in the description. Now let's get back to the video. Or a new uh, captain, should I say, to command our ship. Uh, now they basically have been talking about this for a very, very long time that they're going to redo all of the Klingon uh, tutorial content and all of the good stuff. Let me raise the volume a little bit so you guys can hear it better um they say that there's going to be a lot of cutscenes or these changes to cutscenes uh maybe new cutscenes and also overall uh different experience uh with voiceovers and better um emotional uh, outlets from the characters that we are going to see but I'm just very excited to see what changes they have been making, uh, making in the um, KDF tutorial. That's going to be the first playthrough that I'm going to do on you guys or with you guys right now. And uh, we're going to enjoy some Klingon content, even though I do find it a little bit dark over here at the background. That's a little bit unfortunate because we do have lots of details over there. Uh, but let's get into it and uh, let's just enjoy the the hard work that Cryptic has been doing. So here we go. Three, two, one, click. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> okay, so we got uh, Klingons, Cardassian, uh, Gorn, Ferris, and uh, Gorn, Trill, Ethan, Liberated Borg. I also have access to that. That's nice. Uh, Nausicaa, Orion, uh, uh, Talaxian and Alien. Now, I am going to make a Klingon just for uh, this part. So, there is a male and, or there's a female uh, and male option. I'm just going to go with the... Which one does look a little bit more... Uh... I love the hair. The hair is good. I also love the fur over here. The fur is very, very nice. Well done. I see already we see a lot of like details up here. I don't know what the deal is with these three bars up here that they are putting up here near the chest. That's kind of weird. What about the male character? Okay, so the male. Oh, is this like an insignia? No, what, is, what are those things? What is this circle over here? On his uh, on his neck. Or at least on his uniform. I do love the details. Details are very, very crisp. I like it. Uh, let's make a female. Why not? Um, engineering, science, or KDF. Let's go with something that I normally don't use, and that's science. So this is also something that they uh, talked about, that they're making like a difference in... Uh, the basic stuff or the basic loadout We've got an older Klingon over here. Um, you got some different standard presets of Klingons, so you have like different hair outfits. And I should rotate you to show that. Oh, I love that knot. Oh, that's not good. That reminds me of the uh, Discovery Klingons without any hair. Oh, that's nice. Somebody put a lot of work on that. Ooh. I don't know which one I like on this side. No, that's just too messy. Nope. Nope. Uh, ponytail is good. But these two, I kind of like this one. The braided hair a little bit. This one is also good, but I don't like the, the clipping up here. That's not really done good. I do love the back side, though. Uh, but I'm going with this one. This one is nice. Uh, body. Height. Uh, let's make it really, really small. Oh my god. Oh my god. 5.6. This is like I am. <laughs> and the highest is 6.6. .6. Somewhere between 6.0. 
Uh, also, some presets in a uniform. Oh, what is this? That's nice. That is nice. So you got like the uh, the tunic. I wonder if these are stuff that I've unlocked. So that I've unlocked are showing, or at least are probably showing. Oh, I like that. That's more Klingon. That's that and this one. I do love these slick pants, though. I enjoy that. Um, but these are more... I love the boots on this thing. Because this one doesn't have the, the pointers and good stuff. But I kind of like this one as well. This one or this one? Ah, this one. So these are just the presets. Obviously, you can go advanced and mismatch all of the uh, head... You know all of the, the all of the good stuff to your liking. You can also make like the Sakura character over here on the Klingon side if you want to, or it is uh, I wouldn't recommend because you have to look at that character. But here we go. I believe this is where we are uh, going to name our ship. Yep. Yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna hit random something. Laka. Um. Uh, Laka. That's good. Some random stuff. And here we go with... I think this is going to kick us in the um, faction animation. So what the Klingons are and all that good stuff. Uh, now, it's been a long time that I actually played a Klingon character. Or at least that I made a Klingon character. So I'm going to be... Uh, I don't know if I remember the whole cutscene. But we are definitely going to take a closer look at that. And here we go in 3, 2, 1. Engage. Okay, so that was the animated part of what uh, faction we've chosen. Uh, so we chosen the Klingon, so the Klingon um, uh, tutorial uh, animation uh, was being displayed over there, or at least not the, the animation, the, the, uh, what the Klingons actually are all about. Now, we did see that the cutscenes have not been, or at least they may be here and there, they've been like altered a little bit or some texture update. Uh, but overall, the, the the what we saw the video animation that was still with the old um, with the old texture, with the old visual. So I believe they have not changed anything about that um, that introduction that we just saw. But they did change all of the voiceover. The voiceover was very good, uh, and I hope you guys are, uh, or at least. Uh, had a good hearing about it because I might uh, do some uh, increasing in voice after um, uh, in post because it kind of was a little bit low on my side, but um, it was it was good. Uh, the the overall was very good. Um, 
the voiceover was definitely Klinger. You could hear the guy that was talking had lots of feelings, and I love that that they're putting that in uh, in uh, in SEO right now. So the, the the way that people are, or at least the the, the voice actors are are uh, are portraying all of things, are very nicely done. Um, so this is basically the tutorial. Now I already have a level 65 Klingon. That's why it is asking me to play the tutorial or skip the tutorial. So these are the two options. Now, obviously, I want to play the tutorial to show you guys what this is all about. And I'm not going to skip it. But as it stands right here, it says records indicate that you have completed your training uh, with another officer. Would you like to proceed immediately to Kronos? Uh, I say, uh, no, I want to play the tutorial. Okay, so this is also something that they did not change. Uh, Kagan is, I believe, also on the other tutorial. So the the this particular dude right here, this NPC that you need to talk to, uh, has not changed. I wonder if they actually changed the overall story, uh, the way the tutorial has actually been made to uh, for you to to play out. Uh, let's continue this. Okay, so uh, the animation is telling me that uh, I need to talk to this guy. Um, now, I do want to mention that uh, whenever you are going to play uh, Star Trek Online, this arrow that's moving up and down, that's not always there. But this one is always there. So whenever you're going to talk to a particular person... Okay, so like I was saying, this down pointing or this moving uh, arrow is not always there, but the other icon up here is. So let me just click off of these guys. Now it is telling me like, you know, hold down the mouse button to move around your camera. And uh, you can also do that with left or right mouse button. Um, so I need to talk to this guy. But first of all, let me see. Uh, okay, so they did upgrade like... I believe they upgraded like all of the uh, the entire uh, bridge up here, so that's definitely nice. That is definitely cool. I love these doors. The doors we also saw in uh, the Discord, uh, the the Kidomar Discord. That is the episode that they made, one of the two episodes. I love this new console layout there, definitely simple, we can actually see a holographic bird of prey up there, very nice, very nice, very well done. Um, the viewing screen up here, very nice. Alright, let's continue this and talk to Kagan. The end of the shift is near, at last. I have updated the duty logs, not that there was a lot to report, still, we have our duties. You will need to approve the logs before the captain arrives. Unless you are fond of cleaning up after his tag. <laughs> Alright, very well. The logs are up on my station now. Use it to transfer them into the record of battle. <laughs> battle. The only battle we face is against the forces of boredom. We are warriors of the Empire. We should be finding glory against Starfleet in honorable combat flying through empty space uh, I say remember your place a lieutenant that will be all okay so we need to go over there because that's his console even though this bridge doesn't have any seating interactable items have a glow around them walk up and press F to interact with the console okay so so far this story seems the same uh, what is what is this? What is this underneath? Is that like a warp reactor? So the captain sits above the warp reactor. <laughs> okay, that's interesting. All right, approve the logs. Push buttons. You have completed a task by approving the duty logs. Return to your contact, Lieutenant Kagan. 
All right, let's talk to this guy. Uh, there's also over here, this is normally where you'll find all of your objectives that you need to complete in a certain order or on this particular map. So um, if you're new to Star Trek Online, you're like watching this video for the first time, make sure that you need, or at least that you keep this window right here to the right um visible at all time because this is all of the information and all of the objectives that you need to complete so i need to return and talk to this guy i hope the logs didn't bore you too much i almost fell asleep writing that if you'd like something more entertaining i've made some adjustments to the standard disruptor training program on the holodeck i think you'll find them interesting uh, I say anything would be better than shooting drones. I'll try it. Whoa. Okay, this is nice. Okay. Captain on the bridge. Approach the captain and press F to interact with him. Did you guys see that swagger that the guy had, the captain, when he entered uh, Jurelek? He was like, <laughs> witness me. Oh, I love that part. <laughs> Very well made. Uh, definitely somebody in um, uh, somebody in charge. This guy was like, all attitude. <laughs> uh, record um, tutorial. I'm going to demo record this because I kind of want to have this particular... Uh, scene maybe make like a uh, maybe make like a uh, screenshot of this but let's uh, continue the mission so greet the captain that's what we need to do so Look, talk to this guy I see you and Kagan kept my ship from blowing up during your watch Kalos would be proud I relieve you return in six hours lieutenant you are dismissed that's awesome then they actually put the word lieutenant up here uh normally when you are in um in contact with other people they just uh they just skip the the, the rank because the rank is basically whenever you are leveling up and uh the interface doesn't um doesn't have its own um pronunciation of what rank you are that's kind of they might fix that in the in the future hopefully um there are like not a lot of ranks uh so they, they could make like you know um you know just a little bit of a uh you know recording of the way he pronounces all of the ranks and then just skip them in or put them in right here uh but that's a, that's interesting all right so transfer command so i transfer my command to to the captain over here oh door went up so what I need to do? Exit the bridge via the turbo lift. Okay, we got a big hall up here. Very nice. Oh, wait a minute. Your current task will be displayed here. So that door actually opened up. And this one is opening down. That's interesting. Look at that. Huh. Your current task... Yes, I already said that. Take the turbo lift. Uh, where did we go? Holodeck. Target practice. Down the hall to the holodeck controls. Use the panel to program the hollow minimap shows you where your objectives are. An arrow will appear on the minimap if you are far away from your objective. An arrow. What is he talking about, arrow? Oh, like that. Okay, so basically on the map, you can basically zoom in or zoom out as well so if you are too far away let's say the the objective is like way 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 to the left or to the right uh the map is going to be indicated by by an arrow where you need to uh, where you need to go like that particular arrow that's interesting i usually open just the map on um by hitting the m button and then you can basically see the entire um world the entire map where you are all right so program the holodeck okay so 
Okay, so the animation push buttons has not changed, it's still the same. Uh, okay, so that is basically a Starfleet target. This is target practice. Okay, so that's interesting. Uh, Minimap information and holodeck. Okay, so uh, this bar up here, these are basically all of my abilities. I have the ability to resurrect somebody when it's like down. I have the ability to use a hot post spray that's going to give me flat out hit points. I can use the pushback ability when enemies are really close, the secondary and the primary of this particular weapon. And I can also switch that uh, to palm strike, so I'm just gonna hit uh, just like that, pushing back. And there are also combination on these things, depending on which button you're going to press. So I'm just gonna go with the tutorial right here. Do these guys actually hit back, or they just you missed? Now you missed. <laughs> Okay, this, these guys are, yeah, these guys are just ta target practice. They don't do anything. Even though if I hit them, they also don't do anything. Okay, so that's, I wonder if I hit my, uh, if I hit them with my hands, they do something. Nope. <laughs> nope. Okay, so these guys are just target practice. These guys are dummies. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so they're talking about like sprinting and stuff. That's good. So so far the um uh the overall experience is very entertaining, very good. I like it. Uh, I definitely enjoy the, the the spaciousness of like you know the, this 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 ship that we are on. Even though I think it's just a little bit too big for my taste, um, but I do love the textures. The textures and the voiceovers are very good. The 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 pronunciation of whatever word or feeling they want to convey is dead on. So I need to sleep in my rack up here. That's what I need to do. But I also had the option to talk to this guy. So we got a Gorn over here. All right, let's speak to one of them. I think Captain Jurlak knows something we don't. Okay, so the crew is a little bit suspicious. Uh, the rock to Gino this thing spits out isn't fit for a targ. <laughs> There is only one worthy human delicacy. It is called Haggis. Ew. Never had that. Never had that. That sounds gross to me. But anyway, let's uh, f continue this tutorial. Oh, red alert. Sometime later. My hand is gone. You're like the Sigma. We're ready to receive your prisoner. Acknowledge. We're beaming the piece of Bach talk to you now. I recommend you muzzle him. The sound of his voice is irritating. If he irritates me, I will feed him to my favorite talk piece by piece. Whoa! Whoa! Shields! Ray Shields! This galaxy ship came out of nowhere. He's killing all the Klingons. Kapla, you're alive. This is for 
First Officer Duran, we have sustained damage from a surprise attack. I need you to triage injured crew down there and get them back into fighting condition. Okay, so acknowledged. So this. Mission specialized to your career class are available. Now this is rare in uh, in Star Trek. Um, there are not a lot of missions where your career path uh, actually has a different outcome, or at least you have to do something differently based upon your career path. So tactical can do tactical stuff, science can do science stuff, and engineering can do engineering stuff. Uh, but there are missions in Star Trek Online where you need to uh, where you need to do different stuff based upon your career. Uh, so that's interesting. Also, that cutscene that you just saw with uh, the Galaxy Class uh, Federation ship that just came out of nowhere. Uh, that is new. That is definitely new. And I love that. That was a very good one. So what do I need to do up here? There is like a... I believe that's like a plasma thingy that's, that's been opened up. Plasma conduit, maybe? Uh, so I need to heal humans. That's basically based upon my career. Uh, if you if you choose like tactical or engineering, you're gonna have like a totally different outcome up here. So let me just heal these guys, because that's what Whoa. science do. Ah, it will leave a glorious battle scar. Nice. Yes. You're welcome. I believe engineers could fix these, you know, the the uh, the weird stuff that's going on with the ship. But I can just heal people. So engineers probably gonna hit these plasma conduits up here and these plasma uh, fire and also that electricity thing. So from what I'm seeing, this is basically just like the other other tutorial, the older tutorial. They they have not deviated from the uh, story. There's just you know different uh, environments. <laughs> Merely for Here is the situation. We took custody of a Federation prisoner from the IKS Segpa. Almost immediately after transport, a Starfleet cruiser showed up and attacked. We took some severe damage, but we were able to get our shields up before they could beam over. They've launched shuttles and have boarded the ships on the lower decks. All right. Our security teams are tied up all over the ship, so I need your help securing the lower deck. Grab a rifle from the armory locker and then make your way to the lower decks. I don't know how they were able to enter our shuttle bay, so check the bodies for anything that can give us a clue as to how they were able to board us. One or two of them might be carrying something useful. One or two, all right. Interact with the armory locker by clicking on it to get a disruptor rifle. Then equip it by double clicking on it in your inventory. Okay, so we finished all the tutorial right here and we got a little bit of expertise. Now, we didn't finish the entire tutorial, we just finished that particular objective. But, um, as I'm saying over and over again, they have not changed anything in the uh, story. We are basically uh, going to... Hold on. So we are basically going to go to the um, to the brig. We're going to have like an epic fight over there, uh, and the Federation uh, prisoner they're talking about, sh or at least should be the Section Thirty One, I believe. Uh, Franklin Drake is 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 his name. Um, but this is basically the armory, right? <laughs> a rack of like one, two, three rifles. That's 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 what they call the armory locker. <laughs> All right, let me grab something. Okay. You can equip. Okay. So they're basically telling us like uh, all the weapons slots are in here. If you want to equip different. Um, uh, different weapons you can do that you can click up here or just drag it up there and then click the batleth but they already put up the um, piston and also these uh, this assault rifle so in Star Trek online you can press Z to switch between them like this and then you have like I have the rifle uh, or at least I have the disruptor pistols right now and then 
I have the rifle. And you can also change them like that as well. If you want to. So I have the rifle right now. So that means that I'm going to enter combat. Ooh, what is this? It's kind of like... This is a force field that you guys are seeing. So there is like some hazardous cloud up here. The cloud has been very, very well done. Kind of looks like a small nebula. This could be like a totally, you know, uh, totally science mission right here. Scan that nebula or something like that. That's very well done. I'm just giving cryptic. If you guys are watching cryptic, this could be like, you know, some kind of science mission right here in this nebula there is like i don't know some kind of entity or something like that all right lower decks it is uh repel federation boarding parties find the informant to loot starfleet hoarders uh borders the borders so we got starfleet borders up here that we need to kill off now if you guys are Enemies have a chance to drop items. Cool. Uh, now, these guys don't do a lot of damage. This is basically the tutorial. They shouldn't kill you. Um, but I do want to mention one thing, though. Uh, does the fire hurt? Yep, fire hurts. Uh, I do want to mention one thing. Um, I kind of lost my train of thought. What was I, was, what was I saying? Um, so, oh, yeah. yeah I, I, I remember now. So... For those that are like, you know, end game characters like level 65 and have like, why are we doing the tutorial and why are we uh, attacking the Federation or why is the Federation attacking us? We are allies and all that good stuff. Remember, the tutorial is in a different timeline. In this timeline, we are basically enemies. Uh, so you need to remember that, that the Federation in this timeline, in the, you know, in the missions that we are currently doing, we are enemies to one another. Hey, we got an item. Yes, I want the loot. Grab me. What am I going to get? Encoded Federation message. Okay, so this is still the same. Does this hurt? Yep. Electricity hurts as well. Fire hurts as well. These guys are just sitting ducks. Okay, so different environment, but with the same outcome. What is this? <gasps> a fallen comrade. Let me just try to resurrect him. Nope, CPR doesn't work. CPR does not work on dead people. Who do? And fire here also. Um, damages me. And there, I use a small hypo. And it's a good thing because I have this one is a uh, arc. So it's a cone attack. So we can actually grab both of these guys at the same time. With one shot. Yeah, the environment is definitely better. Uh, you can actually see that the fire is actually illuminating all of the... All of the surroundings right here and there is also a little bit of a flicker so that's you know the fire being you know brighter and not brighter in uh, different spots that's nice uh decode federation message let me do my magic <laughs> uh, the pad is broken <laughs> please input message for decryption No voiceover on this one? Oh, okay. So, let me uh, read this. This is Captain Jurlek. So, that's basically our captain. I have the prisoners you seek, uh, but do not, do not, I, and I do not wish to be captured or killed. I will permit you boarding, I will permit your boarding shuttles to land on my ship in exchange for my release once you have the prisoner. The plot thickens, dun dun dun. Uh, my crew must never learn of this, so arm your boarding parties and expect resistance once you're aboard. Oh, snap. So the Klingon uh, captain betrayed his own uh, people over here. 
contact the first officers Duran. You recovered that message from the Federation borders? My suspicions about our Pataka the captain have been confirmed. I've been seeing signs of Jerlik's cowardice and incompetence for months now. But finally, this is the proof I need to challenge him. All right, let's continue. I see that you are near the brig. I want you to talk to the Federation prisoner there. Find out why he is so valuable. And then report back directly to me. Kapla! Yes, Kepla. <laughs> uh, find the Federation prisoner in the brig and talk to him. Perhaps he could give you more insight into this situation. Yeah, this is that epic uh, fight that I was talking about, or at least it's not epic. These guys are not. These guys are not even. <laughs> These guys were not even attacking me at all. They were busy attacking this guy. That's like invincible. Um, so this is Brig. I'm guessing definitely an overall in this. I do love the. We can actually see what kind of. Uh, situation awareness we're currently on, so that's red alert on the Klingon side. And where is the... oh, right here. Right here is the brig. So a little bit of like a Tholian web uh, <laughs> um, forest field. That's kind of interesting. All right. Uh, talk to the Federation prisoner. Oh, God's sake. Yep, that's section 31. Something on your mind, second officer? Who is that other guy? Other female behind me. You do know your captain's a traitor, right? And, and his mouth is not moving. Know. That's a start. Tell me, does Duran know about Jurlek's dishonor as well? Well then, <laughs> I'm guessing you'll be first officer before too long. I can't imagine Duran letting something like that slide. How do you know so much about our crew, Starfleet? It's my business to know things. If I were you, I'd check in with soon-to-be Captain Duran. She'll probably want to talk about your promotion. I'm oh, snap! Officer Duran is indisposed. Permanently. Oh, snap. Report to the bridge at once. Unless you wish to join her in Stovacor. Well, I was half right. Congratulations on your promotion, first officer. I'm not Captain gonna lie. Dishonored himself. You are the next ranking officer. It is your right to challenge him to a duel. To the death. If you defeat him, the ship is yours. Go. You know what must be done. You know what must be done. <laughs> Do what must be done. Seriously. <laughs> Take the, the turbulent to the and confront your captain. Uh, leave up here. Uh, I enjoy that cutscene. I wish his mouth uh, moved a little bit because his, you know, his expressions were were definitely good. Uh, that's something that I really, really enjoy. But the mouthpiece wouldn't. The mouth wasn't moving. So. Um, that's something that Cryptix definitely uh, fixes, or at least needs to fix in a couple of updates, because they basically are hard at work doing other updates and good stuff. And we need to continue the mission by going to the bridge up here. We're probably going to kill the captain, because that's how we are going to take command of this particular ship. And then that's going to be, um, you know, moving forward. Uh, having our own ship, basically. So let's take the turbo lift to the bridge. Okay, the turbo lift just spat us out. It's like, here's your stop, <laughs> go away. <laughs> oh yeah, that's something definitely uh, worth mentioning. So uh, whenever you are, you know, you have no idea where your next objective is. There is like this this arc right here that you that helps you. Um, to see what your next objective is, so you can basically have that. This is basically just like PUBG has, and you know the the um, the radical that they have, like you know uh, thirty five degrees or ninety degrees or something like that. Definitely interesting. Ooh, a lot of Klingons. Hopefully, I don't have to kill all of them. Just one. 
Where is that? Where is that first officer? Is it is is it her? It's still a little bit too dark though in this bridge. Or is it her? No, that's a guy. And he has his eyes open. Did they dispose of the body already? Oh Jesus. Uh confront the captain. It took you long enough. Take your station. We have work to do if we are to survive. Well, what are you waiting for? The blessing of Kalos? Do as you're told, or I will find someone who will. So I say, I'm Laka. I now take my place as first officer and save the cabin, but I stand for the crew. Oh, you stand for the crew, eh? You think you can kill me and take my command? Duran was a better warrior than you, and she now sings in Stovacor. You will fare no better, whelp. Think. We fight a war we cannot win. Not even Tukuvma could defeat the Federation. And they were far weaker then. Why should we die for Jimpok's folly? Uh, so you're a coward, you dishonor yourself. Young fool! I plan on living a long and prosperous life. I give you one last chance. Stand down! Or your corpse will be cooling on the deck next to the runs. What say you? I was just making a round. There is no Duran over there. Uh, Duran being like the f first officer. Um, but I kind of wonder. <laughs> it says right here. I live. I plan on living a long and prosperous life. Live long and prosper. Is that? Is that like you know? Is what's up with that? Is that that's like a Vulcan saying? What's is this guy been talking to Vulcans too lot uh, a lot? Um, but obviously I need to challenge him, so I say uh, I say you belong to Grethor, and I will send you there. As you wish. I've killed one hero today. Why not litter the deck with the body of another? Draw your weapon and try to die well, fool. All right, so I uh, challenge and claim command. So this guy, even though I might not do anything good, I'm actually going to use the Batleth, but then I'm in combat. So this is something to note. When you're in combat, you can't use the Batleth. Or at least you can't change weapons. Um, so I kind of need to be moving out of combat. Is this going to break him? So I can, I want to use my uh, Batleth up here. So I'm taking it, or at least... Uh, I am cheating a little bit right now. Um, so you can switch weapons or change weapons when you are out of combat, but when you are in combat, you cannot do that. All right, so Batleth battle. Eh. Oh, he just struck me down. I will kill him, obviously, because that's what we need to do. And you guys can see that whatever he's fighting with, or at least towards me, he's not doing enough damage. So that's basically, you are done for, fool. <laughs> there he goes. Epic cutscene. Oh! You fight well for a fool. <coughs> Give me a warrior's death. What, did I chop his hand off? Ooh. I heard that noise. It's like piercing uh, somebody's head or something. Ha! Well fought! An honorable victory! Under Imperial law, you are now the captain. I will enter the change of command into the record of battle. I am Kagan, son of Kerr. I now take my place as first officer. I serve the captain, but I stand for the crew. Acknowledged. Uh, when can the ship be ready for Engines battle? Engines and shields are online, sir. Engineering expects to restore our weapons soon. The cloaking device may take a bit longer, however. Understood. I want this vessel battle ready soon. 
All right, so we got tutorial. There is glory to be found there. What are your orders, Captain? All right, so complete the mission. That's what my orders are. Congratulations, warrior. So I had an epic battle with the captain. Now I'm in. Uh, I'm in command of this thing. Uh, so take command. I sit in the captain's chair. And what happened next? Oh, nothing. <laughs> oh, captain, wait a minute. There is no sign of the Segpa on scanners. We do not know if the Feds destroyed her, but I suggest we not worry about that just yet. Engines and shields are operational, but we need iridium to facilitate immediate repairs to other systems, and our iridium stores were lost in the ambush. Fortunately, there are some asteroids in the vicinity that might have what we need. Increase your speed using P. Decrease your ship speed by using Q. Let's find some iridium. So, Kagan is one of my bridge officers. He is... Um, Put up right here, and he has a special ability, a skill that has torpedo high yield one. We are definitely going to see that later on. And they just said uh, to us, like, uh, if we want to increase our speed, use the button E, decrease, use the Q, ASD to move our ship like that uh, in the vicinity, or at least in the um, position that we need to. So this entire tutorial is just got an, an, a visual overall. Nothing has been changed at all. Uh, scan, scan the asteroid. No iridium on the scanners, but that nearby asteroid field may have what we need. That looks like dilithium. I already mentioned that, so you can definitely zoom in and out. So Captain, that's the next objective. I recommend using full impulse to reach the asteroid field. Pressing shift plus R will activate and deactivate full impulse. Yes, let's do that. Now I'm just going to go through the entire tutorial. I mean, we're here anyway, so... Full stop. Captain, I stopped the ship this time, but from now on you'll be responsible for controlling the speed of the ship. Yeah, okay, cool. Uh, scan for iridium. We have found several asteroids that contain iridium, Captain. Weapons are back Press online. Press space bar to open fire on a target in range. So we need to kill these things. We found some iridium. So that's basically what we do in Star Trek Online. Get ready, because we do a lot of combat. Uh, we basically don't do anything else. We just kill and destroy everything that we can uh, take. Um, and that's true for the Klingon, that's true for the Romulan, Jemadar, Federation, all of the Star Trek Online is killing and killing and killing everything and anything. So let's take care of the Iridium. Let's speak to this guy. I'm picking up a Starfleet distress signal. Seems that a frigate looking for us took a hit in a nearby asteroid field. They are disabled. They won't be out of action for long. I suggest we put an end to their hunt while we can. What are your orders, Captain? Obviously, we're gonna battle. Okay. We are in 10 kilometers. This is the number that you see. That's the distance of this particular ship. <laughs> repair team? 
Okay, so these guys don't have a shield. So shield is indicated by this white outline of uh, around your ship. Uh, these guys don't have that. So basically like a torpedo is going to do a lot of damage to these guys like that. Uh, especially in the beginning, a thousand damage is a lot. Oh, uh, torpedoes also miss. <laughs> Look at that, a thousand damage. And we are doing that much damage because um, they don't have any uh, shields, so the torpedo basically is kinetic based damage and it hits the hull right away. Look at that, 1,700. There. And also you need to be careful. When this thing explodes, they basically explode twice. First the ship, and then some kind of warp core breach. Uh, Alright, let's speak to Force Captain, Officer. The feds are jamming our sensors. We can't get a lock on the Segpa while they do. We have determined the location of the ships that are jamming us, however. We should eliminate them so we can continue our search for the Segpa. It will be a tough fight, but the crew hungers for battle. I think we're up for the challenge. All right. Your orders, Captain? Let's decloak or cloak. To hide from enemy sensors. That's this thing. All right. Five seconds. Damage bonus. Alright, let's cloak. So that's gonna be our next... Um, uh, next enemy. So we're going to decloak, use torpedo high yield, and fire on this guy. There. 3,000. That's a lot. Like I said, this is the tutorial, this is not real combat, or at least combat is basically the same, but um, yeah, this guy has shields, you can actually see it right here, this guy has like those white outlines, those are the shield facings, so on the part where it's like really low, that's where his shields are really, really low, and you just... Continue hammering with your weapons on that particular shield until the shield is gone and then hit him them with a torpedo. Alright, so we've taken care of the repair teams of the Federation. Let's talk to a bridge officer. Destroyed. Jamming effect neutralized. We are clear to resume our search for the Segpa, Captain. Your orders? Uh, resume scanning for the Klingon vessels. A vessel. Scan for the Segpi. Senpai! Oh, it's right there. This that is way. Captain Kaitar of the IKS Segpa. Where is Captain Cherlek? Cherlek is dead. I challenged the coward for command of the of that and emerged victorious. <laughs> Finally! That miserable Topa has been a blight for far too long. Congratulations! May you bring glory to your ship and your house. Speaking of which, do you want to join our fight against this Federation Patak? My long-range comms are down, so I cannot notify High Command of the situation. Our disruptor thirsts for more Federation hulls to lance. Communications officer, make a report to command. Give them our coordinates and tell them we are moving to assist the Segpa in battle. Uh, set of course, battle station, all the good stuff. So the Musashi. The Starfleet oh. vessel is hailing us. Do you wish to respond? So I have the option right here. Uh, let them in static. All hands to battle station. Ignore them or answer their hail. Let's do answering. This is the Federation ship USS Musashi hailing incoming Klingon vessel. All right. Uh, this is your opponent. <laughs> Would you wish to surrender? I love that. Oh, I love that. That's so good. <laughs> Captain Sherlock, what are you? Captain, bring on defense force. Where is Captain Sherlock? Are whooping in. Uh, Jurek is dead. I am command of the Bor... Uh, Bor... Uh, Borbav? Well then, I assume you realize how outgunned you are? I'll cut you the same deal I had with Jurek. 
Give us your prisoner, and we'll let you escape, and live to fight another day. Failure to comply means we'll disable your ship and take the prisoner by force. Ah, uh, bold words. I hope you're prepared to eat them. It looks like Starfleet wants a fight. <laughs> shall we give them one, Captain? Uh, we shall indeed make ready to battle. You're making a huge mistake. So that's basically the the you know uh, an introduction to the um to the to the battle. Or at least this is an introduction to the battle. You chain their shields, hit them with torpedoes, and that's going to do a lot of damage. And that is true for the majority of uh, combat in Star Trek Online. So there's like a layer of defensive uh, shielding around a particular enemy. You drop that down all the way to zero. And then you hit them with kinetic based weapons. Those are torpedoes and good stuff. There we go. Torpedo high yield, 1,700. Normal stuff, 10, 10, 113, 122. Those are the disruptors. And when they hit a torpedo, torpedo should be inbound. There we go. You hit like really high. Now we need to move out because if the secondary explosion might kill us. Good. All right, we will do just that right here. So this is an overall of what we're doing. So the check mark is telling us these are the things that we already covered. We the next thing is here while repairs are underway. But you need to get that Federation prisoner to Kronos immediately. High command is expecting him. You probably want to space him by now. <laughs> I know I did, but that would be a career ending move for you. Just get him to Kronos. A career ending. Uh, nobody really wants to make a career in uh, the KDF. They want to have honor. Um, but I'm guessing they're basically chosen that way. Um, so also missions um, give us uh, rewards as well for completing them. That's how you basically get gear and good stuff for your, uh, for your ship, for your bridge officers, <clears throat> weapons and all that good stuff. In this particular mission, it is giving us better disruptors and also a better shield. Uh, so let's accept the rewards. Uh, so if we warp to Kronos, we're going to also going to get uh, 2,000 energy credits. So our next objective is to warp to Kronos. To, uh, to deliver the prisoners. So this is going to be Kronos. Very cool animation. The Klingon home world. Yes, yes. Okay, so that animation was just once. Um, only on the tutorial when you warp in. All of the other animations are just, you know, not like that. Well, we are going to go to the Acronos prison so right here. You're the one with my prisoner. Congratulations. We've captured him many times, but no one has ever actually gotten him as far as Kronos before he escaped. He's quite the prize. Beam him down directly to the prison here in First City, and we'll make arrangements for the prisoner transfer. Kronos prison facility out. <laughs> And I say, prepare for a prison transfer. Beam down the prisoners. The prisoner has been received. All right, so I beam in myself. So the transporter can't do those things at once. They need to be separated. <laughs> That's not good. But, um... Yeah, the tutorial is basically just like the same. Oh, that is different. Been received and muzzled. Typical human. In love with the sound of his own voice. Oh, some stuffy bureaucrat tried to reach you here. Word about your promotion has traveled fast, it seems. I suggest you present yourself to the High Council and get the formalities out of the way. 
Uh, I'm already near the great hall. The cancer is on fire. I'll take him out of my business. Uh, all right, let's do this one. Let's not be a, a total badass. Ooh, that is... Oh, that's so good. Can I not jump on this thing? Oh, come on. Why did they put an obelisk right here? Oh, this Klingon. Ooh, that is so good. The texture is awesome. I love the animation right here. Uh, I've never seen this particular glow <clears throat> in uh, in Star Trek. I love it. I love it. Oh, man. Please do more of these things. So, whenever we have no idea where to go, this is very, very useful. Whoa, who's this? Look at this badass dude. He's a little bit older, but you know who this guy is. Wow, that's so cool. We got Worf up here. This has really, really, really good. I love it. Let me also do a demo record. Um, uh, Konos. Wow, that is that is very, very, very well done. Now, I don't think this is Kronos as um, as the map, because I'm not seeing any... Oh, wait, there were a couple of uh, real players up here. Yeah, that's a real player. Look, it just beamed out. Okay, so we are definitely at Kronos right now, but... Such a beautiful place is this has turned out to be. It's not that dark anymore. I mean, you do see a little bit of dark areas. But overall, oh, very, very good. Very good. The texture is just dropping my jaw right now. Uh, this is basically all of the uh, exchange and good stuff. It's a little bit older. Look at that. Uh, even the, the concrete has like worn down a little bit. Nice, 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 nice. Attention to detail. So this is definitely something that they need to fix. These, these stairs. Come on, man. I don't have that, you know, bulky legs that I need to drop. Okay, okay. So that's nothing has changed up here. I'm just giving you guys a little bit of a tour. I am going to go to Kronos right now because I really don't want this video to be too much or too long. But seeing this, that is interesting. The difference that they made in um, in textures is just really, really good. All right. Uh, so this is the mission that it needs to go through. Does anything has changed here? Not that much. Okay. All right. All right, going to Chancellor. Jim Park. Now we do know why this guy is a little bit older and, you know, is more, more scary looking. I'm not going to um, spoil anything for you guys. You kind of need to go out through the missions uh, yourself. But let's talk to this guy, or at least let's report in. There she is. The hero that brought us a Federation prisoner. The warrior who saved the Segpa. The rightful heir of a starship by right of personal combat. You have done well to start your career. I will be keeping an eye on you and your progress. That animation is just very, very good when he like leans in and is like all serious about stuff. Oh my god, that's good. Uh, it's an honor to command a ship of your, under your leadership. Now, before you go flying off to find your adventure, there is the matter of your duties as a captain in the Klingon Defense Force. First off, there is the matter of Lieutenant Doran's husband, her Parmach. It is your duty to inform him of her death, as you are now her superior officer, even in death. Oh, this is interesting. I've never, uh heard about this thing so this is a little bit of a spin-off i will inform him of her passing to stop a core 
We will find Chagren, Doran's Parmark, working at the exchange. And the um, path is also animated again. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Uh, very good, very good, very good. I like it, I like it, I like it a lot. And the exchange, I kind of was there already, but... <laughs> Let's get there. Let's get there in a hurry now. We do know how to sprint in Star Trek Online. That's basically just, you know... Um, push the shift key. You don't have to hold it down, but just push it once. What? Uh, as Farm about to grin. Greetings. I am Farm, a fully certified banker and financial investor. What can I help you with today? Where can I find the Klingon name to grin? One more thing. As a first time visitor wait, wait. to this. Wait, wait. Did I press. Greetings. Where can I find you, grin? Oh, right. He's one of the maintenance engineers. Make sure the exchange computers are up and running. Last I knew. He was running diagnostics in the warehouse, located in the back of the exchange. That's all I One need, Fregoringi. As a first-time visitor to this exchange, you qualified for a free sample of our fine merchandise. You won't find better quality anywhere on Kronos Warrior. And if you like it, feel free to come back. Like the Grand Nagus always says. The only thing better than a first-time customer <laughs> is a repeat customer. <laughs> nice, I like that. Uh, fine, uh, there are there are better than no strings attached to this. Oh, there had better be no strings. All right. You have received a kit appropriate to your profession. Open Ooh. your inventory and double-click it to equip it. With a kit equipped. Abilities are added to your action bar that you can perform in ground combat. Nice. So kits are a little bit of enhancement to your abilities. So you have like this tactical, uh, tactical, this science kit module, uh, medical tricorder. So I am going to cut off this video right here because this is going to take me into combat and it's going to continue down this... Um, down this path and i just wanted to show you guys the tutorial a little bit uh with the overall different textures now from here on uh there is going to be just combat and uh, we are going to enter all of the um um all of the story arc we have basically done that in uh you know on the klingon side um so this is just going to enter us into um into the story arc uh, but that's that's the that's the tutorial. That's basically when you're going to make a new character. That's how you go through. I love it. I really enjoy the cutscenes. Have been uh, well done. The textures have been well done. Uh, I just hope that they're going to um, continue down this path and just step up their game. That is definitely interesting, and I love them for doing this. Um, that's it for this video. Like I said, love to see you guys on the other videos that I'm going to do as well. For now, I'm going to say take care. Later.